epispediasis and hypospediasis, congenital defect that is involved, the abnormal placement of urethral orifice of the penis, and this anatomical defect can lead to easy entry of bacteria into the urethra. So there are two keywords. So our alteration of uh, urethral pathway, epispedias and hypospedias. Epispedias means urethral orifice is located to the dorsal surface of penis, often occur with extrophy of bladder. Whereas the hypospedias, urethral orifice is located below the gland spinas along the vertical surface. So let me explain in this picture. So here we can see this is epispedias and this is hypospedias. So both are abnormal. So abnormal placement of urethral meatus on the penis. Dorsal placement of urethral opening. And this one, ventral placement of urethral opening. In this picture, we can see this is the normal and urethra and the tip of the penis. But hypospedias is, we can see uh, urethral opening and here. Yeah. And severe hypospediasis, both. So hypospediasis is a condition in which the opening of the penis is on the underside rather than to the tip of the penis. And this causes the downward curve of the penis and abnormal spraying during the urination. And this one is epispediasis present opening the dorsal surface. So what wrote here? Epispediasis and hypospediasis are genital abnormalities in which the urethral opening is above or below its normal location in the glands, uh, yeah, on the glands of the penis. So what are the most common cause? Okay, so most common cause or the very basic pathophysiology, maybe genetic cause, a genetic predisposition has been suggested by eightfold increase in incidence of hypospediasis among the monozygote twins or sometimes endocrine. So a decreased in available endogen or inability to use of available endogen can cause this problem or sometimes called environmental means endocrine disruption of environmental agents hmm? and causes this problem. But congenital defect is most common cause or some books say unknown etiology. So it is most common in the man or male, right? So what are the um, sign symptom right the most common sign symptom urethral opening located to the ventral surface right and it is called hypospediasis ventral surface or dorsal surface it is called epispediasis so aspect to the penile shape so clinical diagnosis is important and the treatment is surgical intervention. So intervention is based on severity, surgical reconstruction, 
may be indicated. So perform before the age of age of toilet training or preferable between 16 to 18 months of age. So this is the time for surgical reconstruction. Circumcision is not performed on a newborn with the epispediasis or hypospediasis, although there are other surgical techniques used to repair this defect. The pediatrician may prefer using post skin for surgical reconstruction of the defect. What are the post-operative intervention or nursing care? The child will have a pressure dressing and may have some type of urinary diversion or urinary stent while matters is healing. Monitor the vital sign, carries the fluid intake to maintain adequate urine output and to maintain patency of stent. Monitor the important output and urine for cloudiness or foul order. It means infection. Notify the res registered nurse if there is no urinary drainage for one hour because this may indicate the kink in the system or obstruction by sediment. Assist to provide pain medication or medication to relieve the bladder spasm. So intercholinergic can help. So the most important is that nursing care is pain control, anticholinergic or for bladder spasm and catheter care is important. So post-operative assist the admin antibiotics as prescribed, reinforce instruction to parents regarding the care of urinary diversion or stent, reinforce the instruction to the parents to avoid giving the child a tub bath until the stent he present. Reinforce instruction to the parents about the fluid intake, medication administration, the sign symptom of infection and the need for healthcare provider follow-up for dressing removal approximately four days after surgery. So daily um, care is important. Hmm? 